Now, my issue is this. If you're going to put your rookie quarterback out there with that offensive line and you're either not going to equip the offensive line to handle the pressure or the quarterback to handle the pressure, you got a problem as coaching. You have a problem as coaching. And my issue with right now with Matt Nagy is the lack of communication. The lack of communication and the clarity of exactly what should be happening in Chicago. Acho, you've spent some time around Matt Nagy. What do you think of the way he's handling this? Yeah, well, I mean, just to Dan's point, it's not about a lack of talent. I think it's a result of not great coaching, right? The Bears are plenty talented. They have Allen Robinson, who's a phenomenal wide receiver, top seven in a lot of people's eyes. David Montgomery, who's another phenomenal running back and emerging talent. He was second in the league in, missed tackle, in broken tackles uh, behind Dalvin Cook and, and Derrick Henry. So it's not about talent. For me, it's about coaching. I think that the problem here is that Andy Dalton really should play. Andy Dalton should start off the season to allow Justin Fields the luxury of sitting, watching, and learning. But the issue is that uh, Matt Nagy wants to keep his job. And so you saw early on, he said, well, Andy's our starter. And then after Justin Fields looked good, Matt Nagy said, well, we're going to do what's best for the Chicago Bears. And then now we're seeing, well, Andy's our starter again. And so, like, the issue here isn't the fact that the Bears aren't talented. The Bears are plenty talented. The defense is good. The offense has weapons. They're talented enough. The issue is Matt Nagy doesn't have the patience to stick with his initial plan, right? My last point, Dan, you made a point about, you know, rookie quarterbacks, first-round picks not being good enough. Patrick Mahomes was plenty good enough, but he sat behind Alex Smith for a bit as he sat and learned. Not every quarterback has that luxury, and I think in this situation, Justin Fields does. Of course, Nagy was the offensive coordinator on that Chiefs team Mahomes rookie year when he sat behind Alex Smith. So, okay, so we have one vote for they should start Fields and one for they should start Dalton. Mike T, break the tie. Justin Fields. This reminds me of the 09 Jets where we drafted Mark Sanchez, put him in. We ran the ball, played good defense, went to the championship game. And I'm not saying Chicago is that good, but this was a team that did go to the playoffs last year, and I think Matt Nagy – runs the risk of losing his locker room if he doesn't start Justin Fields. Yeah. I know what the stats say, Dan, but when you watch them over the first two games, Justin Fields gives them the best chance to win. And I think the other thing that's hurting Chicago right now is a very underrated aspect of team building is to evaluate your own. And clearly, this would be a team that would be better with both Mitch Trubisky at quarterback to at least start the season over Andy Dalton and Charles Leno, a good left tackle, where obviously, as Dan O just pointed out, they are struggling up front, and Charles Leno would be a good starter for them right now. But Fields gives them the best chance to win, and that's who I would go with. You bring up the 09 Jets. At the risk of giving that team's general manager a, a big head, that, that was a team that led the uh, league in rushing and led yeah. the league in defense. Perfect yeah. opportunity for a rookie keep quarterback. Going. Dan O, keep, is keep this going. year's Bears team that good? No, no, they're not. But I think your, your point in question is a, is a very good observation. I would say this is why – I want to make it clear. Justin Fields should be their starting quarterback. But this is why the difference between that Jets team and this Chicago Bears team is, is – I would sit there as a coach and go, I can help a bad offensive line more than I can help a bad quarterback. As a coach, I can sit there and, and scheme up to help a bad offensive line. Quick game, RPOs, utilization of the run game, utilization of the quarterback run with a young athletic quarterback, max protection, play action pass, change the launch point. I can do all those things as a coach to help a bad offensive line, which the Chicago Bears have. I can't do that much as a coach to help a bad quarterback. And that's another reason why Justin Fields should be the starting quarterback. And the last thing I'll say is this. We need to remove ourselves a little bit from the archaic thought process that quarterbacks need to come in, sit, and learn. This is not 2005 anymore. These kids have grown up in seven-on-sevens, private coaching. They are so much more advanced than guys like me who came in in 2005 were. They don't need to sit and listen and, or learn anymore. They need to get on the field and play. All these guys should be playing, Justin Fields being the leader of that. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.